Hey guys, welcome to what will hopefully be a brand new series. This is Creativerse. Creativerse. Now on Twitter, um, I mentioned that I wanted to start playing more open world sandbox type games. And uh, this is one of the first games that came to mind. I saw Slip play it and B-Dubs played it, I think, about a year ago though. So um, a lot has changed since then. I'm sure they've been updating this game quite a bit. I, I'm sure. So... Um, we're going to give this a shot, and hopefully you guys like it. If not, we'll move on. If so, I will play this until you tell me to stop, because I think it's pretty good. I mean, obviously, you'll already be noticing the comparisons to Minecraft. Uh, it's a block-type world. It's uh, procedurally generated, I guess. It's uh, open world. You craft stuff. There are cooler-looking mobs, though. Like, this guy looks like a leaf sort of thing. There's a stamina bar down there, the yellow bar. The red is your health. Um, again, I played a little bit and I think it's really, really fun. The possibilities with this, I mean, I didn't play too much because I think part of the fun is uh, is discovering things together, but I played enough to know that these mushrooms are very, very important. These little guys will restore your health. You can also build health potions and stuff like that, uh, but for now, we're going to stick with these mushrooms. Look at th th that guy's sleeping over there. It is kind of cool. These little, they're adorable little creatures. These, okay. I, I'm still not sure which ones are hostile. Either. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's strutting. He's got like a strut walk. Uh, there's a temperature up there in the top right corner. Uh, your compass, obviously the top of the screen. Lots and lots to do. So let's get started. First of all, you pick up blocks. You don't punch them, but you, you left click and you suck up blocks with this um, arm thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, you know that arm thing that people have? Uh, that's the arm thing you use to suck up blocks. And we should probably craft some stuff here. This is the crafting menu. It's actually pretty good. Um, it actually tells you what you need to craft, unlike um, Minecraft. So first and foremost, you should probably craft a sword. So we need vines and wood. You can even track what you need, by the way. So if you click the track button now in the top left left hand corner, you have like little, uh, I guess, a list of the things you need to craft. And here are some vines and some wood, the wood that we need. There you go. You got two vines. I'm going to collect all the vines because it turns out you need vines for a lot of things in this game. I think I've played maybe, uh, I'd say a little over an hour off camera. Again, just to get the basics of the controls and stuff so I don't, uh, so I don't mess anything up. The caves in this game, by the way are really dark and I don't know how to change that I might have to change that in the in video processing later not only are they dark but it seems like every cave has sort of like a little entrance boss it's kind of weird it's it's they, like they glow you'll see we'll we'll have things we'll have things also you can jump two blocks that's good that's one of the things I think they do better than Minecraft uh, that one block jumping can sometimes be a pain the two block jumping I I can I can get down with Let's grab this um, beeswax uh, and some leaves, and let's suck up these blocks that we just used to to get up here. And we're gonna craft. What do we need? Oh, we can craft the sword now. So E is to craft, or sorry, E is inventory and Q is craft. But you can hit either one and then switch between the two with your mouse. So let's craft this bad boy right now. Uh, my inventory. Let's get this stuff all out of my hot bar. Let's put this. Oh, this thing is very important this is like your it's basically it's your teleporter so when you die you spawn where the teleporter is placed so i kind of want to find a nice place to build a little house at first we're not going to build too much to start out with we got to explore this world a little bit uh but yeah i want to find a nice place to build a little house and um and then put put down my teleporter i guess i don't need to track that anymore Next, we should upgrade this thing. Oh, and we have enough to actually craft it. Fantastic. This will allow your... This is a power cell. It's it's the, this thing on your hand, I guess. It's a cell that I guess you use for your hand. I don't know. Um, but either way, it will allow you to get a little more... Uh, you'll have a little more mining capabilities, I think. Did I... That automatically... I don't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now your, your tab button is your dig. Uh, I can't really show you guys. Oh, there we go. Right here. So we got the wood mining cell. Is that is that what we created here? Oh yeah, we did. There we go. Wood mining cell. What's the first one called? I guess I don't know. Um. Okay, we got it. Oh, we have to create one of these real soon here. A processor. This will let us create a bunch of other things. Lighting is also important. Uh, we need wood and moss for um, for those torches. 
Here's a cave. Um, okay. Let's suck up this mushroom. Because we need mushrooms for things. Other than the red ones. Oh, there's more over there, too. We should probably make those torches now. Okay, let me see if I cannot get killed. I got killed a lot before. I'm kind of embarrassed. Let's craft eight more. We'll have 16 torches. Let's place that on our nine key. Uh, I'm used to having the torches in the nine. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay. All right, this cave. Oh, see what I'm talking about? Those things. If I can kill that guy, I will be a happy panda because they have something that you need to make, like, the stone sword. And the stone sword... Oh, wait a minute. Is it the stone sword? Uh, hold on. Is it this? Yeah, they have this stuff. Dropped from creatures. Uh, rockster rock that you need to make this stone sword. So hopefully we can kill it. Ugh, I'm not ready for this. This game is way harder than it looks, I promise you. Oh, oh, I've never seen this biome before. Is that a mesa? Okay, so we have a cave here. Let's go ahead and place our little teleporter uh, around in the area. I kind of maybe want to build a house right here would be a good spot. So this is our teleporter. By the way, every time you start a new world, it is accessible to your friends. You can make it open to your, for your friends to join or you can password protect it. Right now, mine is password protected, so I don't have uh, people joining me that I don't want to join me. Uh, let's grab some more of this wood. I'm really worried about this guy down here. We gotta make this processor and we need this stone. I just gotta make sure I keep my distance from this guy. Oh look, I can't grab that. Limestone. I need to upgrade my um what are these things called? Uh the hand thing. Oh wait a minute. What is that? Oh, I didn't want to do that. No no no. Back. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's go ahead and I don't I'm not sure what I did there. Let's go and place it here again. If you hit R, I really don't know what R does. I gotta figure this out. Again, this is a new game. This is a new, well, it's it's still not even complete, by the way. It's still in, uh, oh gosh, I'm not gonna say beta or alpha because I'm not sure. But um, it was at PAX, and, uh, and yeah, I think Ko has played it, and uh, Paz, I believe, has played it. I'm not sure if they've recorded anything, but they've played it. Okay, what can we craft now? This thing. Oh, we need two more stone. Let's get... Oh, crap. I don't know if you could take fall damage, but that felt like a long way down. Okay, I have the things I need now. That's why it's good to mark it. So this is my little teleporter. This little guy, you should probably... Hmm, it is worth it to kill these animals. They drop useful stuff. I just feel bad because they're adorable. Okay, let's craft this guy. Uh, let's get this out of our inventory here. What's this? Cragwood sapling found on the surface can be planted. Soon it will grow big and strong. Huh. Interesting. Eat it or use it in potions. Oh, this also regenerates health. Okay. I thought it was just the red ones. We should have the red ones in our inventory. Let's put them on number eight. Uh, now we can place this down. The mouse wheel is kind of confusing. Like you scroll up. I feel like it scrolls the wrong way. Well, wrong for me, anyway. Uh, let's place it here. And so this is like, uh, what is it called exactly? I don't know exactly what it's called. A processor. And this is where you make all kinds of stuff. I can cut down wood into slabs and rods. Uh, and and I can cut down other things, too. I have not played with this too much. Ooh, red pigment. I see. Oh, so that's like dye. And then this, you can make twine out of the vines, which are very important. I still really want to make this stone sword but let's try killing uh let's get this out of the inventory and put oh no no right here and put um or not put but try to kill this guy i'm so sorry you adorable little thing yeah they, they don't like it when you attack them ow stop it just die already okay all right he drives a bone uh, a glob of goo and some leather all right we'll take that stuff now I can make more things. As you can see, it tells you what you are now able to make. Um, I'm going to keep attacking these guys. God, they damage you a lot. Um, the weird thing about dying in this game is you don't... Your inventory drops just like uh, just like it would uh, 
in Minecraft. I keep comparing it to Minecraft, but obviously the comparisons are like, they're obvious. <laughs> obviously the comparisons, the comparisons are obvious. Uh, but yeah, you die and you drop all your items in like a little, a little bag or a little like uh, stone ball thing. But all the items in your hotbar do not drop. So if you have important stuff on you and you're scared about dying, oh man, I wanted to try that goo. Oh, he is. He's, does that slow them down or something? I think so. Oh, now he's fast. Careful. I don't think there's a block either. Okay. We got some more of this stuff. Crystals. We should probably heal up. Okay, let's eat those mushrooms. Um, I really want to go check out that mesa biome. I'm assuming it's a mesa biome. We can't... Hmm, let me see. Oh, this is shallow. Okay, good. I thought it was deep. Oh, this is getting deeper. Can I pick up stuff? Oh, you can. Okay. There's an oxygen meter, obviously, so you can't just swim forever. Uh, is this sand? I don't know what these are. I don't know what that is. This is the first time I'm seeing this biome. This is why I wanted to play it with you guys. This is sand. Okay. Let's grab some sand. I'm not sure what you can make with sand. All right, I don't know what this is, so let's, ooh, whoa, 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 okay, I think they're hostile, a dust devil, he hasn't hit me yet, ow, that hurts, oh my gosh, oh goodness gracious, okay, I'm gonna die, I think, my first time, you guys are about to witness what happens when you die, I keep scrolling back, to my sword. Oh, you have been defeated. Okay. All right. These guys are not to be messed with. Luckily, I'm right across <laughs> the water. So, look, you see my my hot bar? Everything is still on the hot bar, but when I go into my inventory, it's all gone. So, let's go ahead and um I'm not sure how I feel about the character design either. Like it looks very like cartoony. It's kind of cool. I haven't seen any character customization either, but that might be coming. Oh, and did I mention this game's free to play? I'm pretty sure back when uh, the people I saw play it played it, it was not free to play. It is now. Um, I'm sure there are like microtransactions and stuff. That's understandable if it's free to play. They gotta make their money somehow. Oh my gosh, really? I'm not gonna beat this thing. I'm gonna die again. Can I hit it from the water? Is this like a cheat? Oh, you don't like the water there, do you, Dust Devil? Oh, this is... Oh, sweet. Okay, you better drop some sweet loot. A dust devil. Dust devil dust. Drop from creatures used to craft. Ack, I think I breathed some of it in. Drop by dust devil. Found in dry, low precipitation regions. Then there's a cactus. Okay, let me grab my things. Take all. Okay. All right. We're doing better now. Um, What is this? Is this just dirt? Oh, I think I just placed some vines where I did not intend to place vines. Suck up those vines. It's just, just, oh, it's canyon floor. Can I get these things? Oh, I can't. I need a stone mining cell. Okay, well, uh, I think maybe our next step is to go into that cave, destroy that thing in the cave, and get his, his body. <laughs> get his body parts to make a better sword. I also have to... Eat some of this stuff. I wonder if you can eat the honey. No, you can place it. You cannot eat it. Can I make a chest yet? Uh, the processor. I don't think I need to... I don't think I need to use a processor to make a chest. There we go. I just need four slabs. Oh, okay, so I, I need the processor to make slabs. So we'll do that. Chop two, chop two. So these will get done. Then I'll make a chest and put all my things in the chest, and then we'll go down in there and uh, and get our butts handed to us, most likely. Chest is actually full. Uh, what's the crumpled note? What is this? Sh can be read. Okay. Well, maybe crumpled note cannot be used in quick bar. Okay, so how do you read it? Uh, probably have to get out of this menu. Crumpled note cannot be used in quick bar. She said, I shouldn't just leave you like this. Fine, build a shelter before nightfall and light it up with something. Do that and you just might have a chance. Okay, I will do that. Little chest. The chests are adorable, I have to say. I like the chest design. 
this uh, it has a very sort of futuristic feel to it with the teleporter and like the um, the processor. All right, we need to get probably. How do you make armor in this game? I didn't make armor last time. Oh, right, you need more of that stuff, man. The problem is this stuff right here. The Rockster Rock. And the only guys that have dropped it have been dudes that come out of these caves. So, uh, yeah. It's not fun fighting these guys, I promise you. Is he still in here? All right, let's go ahead and place the torches. You can sort of dual wield. It's not dual wield, but... See, I have my, my sword in my hand, and I can still place the torches. So that's good. Ooh! Is this coal? Did I finally find coal? Oh, I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like anything's following me either. Fossils! That's new! For me. I can make asphalt? Is that what that said? With the fossils? What's this down here? That's stone. Oh, okay. All right. It was just, it looked different. Let's place some more of these. Let's get my sword ready. And get the torches. Oh, oh. For a second there, I thought it didn't place. All right. It's placed. This looks like a dead end here. <laughs> the torches take a bit to load up the light as well. But again, this game is still, like, like a lot of games these days, this game is still in development. So, things are bound to change and probably improve. What is that? Now, I can't... I have to unequip my sword. Yeah. Oh, I can't grab it. It's stalactite. Okay. Are there stalagmites, too? Ooh, this is a deep cave. All right. Um, This is tough. I kind of want to go exploring... But at the same time, I know I'm gonna get wrecked. I am gonna get wrecked. Okay, let's just drop down here. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should try to find a source of uh, of that other thing somewhere else. The thing we need. Is there a different? Where'd that guy go? He just did he just disappear. Okay. There's limestone here. I doubt I can grab that. Yeah, I can't. I gotta improve my, my book thing. Book looking thing. <laughs> it's not actually a book. Alright. Well, we have this cave to explore, so that's a start. And you can jump two blocks. Yes! Love the two block two block jump. That's good. That's good for me. Uh can we get out of here now? Is it night? Okay, it's getting to be nighttime. I don't remember if night was very terrifying the first time I played. I think will be okay. What we should do though is try to find some more of these little guys so we can kill them. Kill them! I said that in a really weird way. Um, so that we can create a better sword and, and better and armor and stuff. That's like the main thing. Look at those guys! They're glowing! Okay. Our little wood sword is gonna have to do. Are they... Oh, they despawned, I guess. I think the glowing thing means that they're on fire or something. I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, maybe you guys who play creative verse will let me know. These guys. Dude. Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. You're running away now. He must be close to death. Uh, ooh. That's sinew, by the way. That thing that looks like rope. All right. Let's, let's keep wrecking face here. I'm sorry, little dude. Yep. Oh, God. I need to get, like, a ranged weapon. Okay. Some more of that stuff. Where's home? It marks it on your map, too. The little X is the, where the teleporter is, so that's that's also very convenient. Here's some more of these um, beeswax blocks. This guy looks like serious business. I don't think I've seen one this color. Oh, he has some reach. I'm not sure why his color is like this. I'm trying to kite him. There we go. What do you got for me? Ah, nothing special. I think we really do have to go inside those caves to get what we need. Let's go over here. I saw more of them. Yeah, it's the same ones. It's the same ones. Okay. 
sun is rising. I spent uh, pretty much all night gathering some materials for my very first house. I've never built anything in this game. Um, each stack looks like it holds 99, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and face the water here and see what we can't get. By the way, you can move this any anywhere you want at any point. I don't think you can do that for the wood chest, which is unfortunate because I built it over there, and I think I want to move it over here. But that's all right. Let's go ahead and start placing blocks. Okay. We'll do a classic squared house to begin with. We'll do five by four. Five, perhaps? We're running out of room already. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. We'll put the front wall there. Okay. Oops. No, I don't need that. Um, I guess we... I don't remember how to change the location of this thing. I think all you gotta do is, like, like do that. Uh, let's put it, like, in here. There we go. Okay. All right. That works. That's simple enough. Let's put more blocks. Shoot. Did I do this right? Five by five? Yeah, we're good. We're like a nice little square. Uh, let's have a couple windows now. Like so. Like that. I feel like the building is faster. Uh, you know what? Let's have the door off to the side so we can have a window here. Beautiful. Look at that. That's good. Wow, that's a big jump. How did I manage to do that? Okay. And we'll do this. I don't know if there are like... Again, there are, there are a ton of blocks. And uh, I have not explored all the block options. So this is just my preliminary home that you guys will hopefully enjoy. <laughs> hopefully you'll think it's beautiful. Uh, Alright, we got a little house. That's kind of cool. Uh, what, what else can we build? Crafting. We got a door. We need some beeswax. Do we not have... I thought I picked some of that up. Let me go grab some of that somewhere. It's usually found in trees. So it shouldn't be too hard. I think I see some right there. That's really far off, though. Anything closer? Yes. Yes, there is. Maybe we should attack this guy. Hey, leafy-looking thing. Hello? Oh, it's running away. I feel terrible. Dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel bad. Okay, I'm sorry, little little thing. Okay, he had some vines on him. Here is the beeswax. Can we... We're going to have to pillar up to get it. You can place two if you time it right. I'm just really bad at timing it right. Now let's suck up the beeswax. I'll totally make this door now. Where's that door? Where you at, door? Okay, we'll craft one door. I wanted to create one of these because these you can extract ore from ore nodes. I don't know what an ore node looks like, so we're going to have to find what those look like. Uh, there's a forge... Use a forge, oh sorry, used to forge raw materials into crafting components, place and interact to use. We can make these, oh bedrock, no we can't get it until we get this, which we can almost have. Here, let me go ahead and, and open this up, but we'll turn this wood into wood slabs, two wood slabs. Um, that should leave us, all we really need is that coal, and I haven't seen any coal in that cave. Um, I was there overnight. I didn't see it, so we might be in trouble there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and put some torches up in this place. Maybe in between all the windows. Perfect. Maybe we'll have a nice, fancy floor at some point. Let's put the door there. Uh-huh. Very nice. I like the green door. Oh, and it's in the middle of the blocks. That is good. Okay, we need a roof for this bad boy. Luckily, I got some leaves. I think a leaf roof would be good. I think. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a terrible idea. Um, let's go ahead and build a little staircase here. Although we didn't need to do it that high because you can jump two blocks. Let's build this roof now. And there we go. We have ourselves our first house. Ah, it's adorable. Yeah. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this first episode. This game has a lot of potential, I think. So I'm going to play a few episodes of it. Hopefully you support it. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Click the like button, please. Leave comments. Also, um, links to some builds would be kind of cool. Because I'm sure there are tons and tons of build already out. Or I guess you can't leave links in the comments. You can tweet them at me, though. Uh, especially your builds. If you have really cool builds that you've created uh, with this game, Creativeverse, I'd like to see them. 
Also, I just learned that I think you can suck up the chest, but it contains items. So I gotta get the items out first, then I can put the chest inside my house. I'm probably gonna do some work off camera just to brighten it up a little bit. Obviously, very, very simple home. I don't even know if you can create windows or anything yet. Can you do anything like that? Can you do anything with the sand in the processor? Did I not collect? Wait, I had sand, right? I totally had sand. Am I just missing it? What the heck did I do with my sand? Hold on, hold on, before we go. Let's see if we can suck up some sand. Is that the sand? I think that's the sand. That's totally the sand. Found in the stalactite layer used to craft. No matter how hard you try, I wonder what else can you do? Oh, you can make a stone door. Hello. A table? Oh, here's some wood stairs. I should have used that. Oh, never mind. They have a thatched, like, sloped roof. I totally should have used that for my roof. Okay. Obviously, lots of possibilities to play with. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. And I'll see you in the next one in a couple days, I guess. I'll do these every other day. Bye-bye.